In this video, I'll show you how you can work with text styles. So we'll learn how to create a new text style and edit text within a text style and then set some text to whichever text style it is that you need. So first of all, what is a text style? Text styles are kind of predefined text definitions. So say you have different fonts that you're using, you can create a new text style for each one of those fonts. Maybe one has a bold text style to it one has a different font entirely. So we'll, we'll go through different text styles that we have. The easiest way to see your text styles is to go to the annotate tab under the text ribbon. If you pull down this top word that says standard, you can see AutoCAD by default gives you two different text styles. You've got annotate and you've got standard. Both of those nowadays come with a default font of Arial text and so you can see I'm using the standard text style and the font down here. We're going to go to manage text styles but before we get into this I'll show you a few more places where you can find the manage text styles or the text styles manager. You can also click on this tiny little arrow right here. It takes you to the exact same place. If you go to format text style, there you go. We go to the home ribbon pull down this word that says annotation. Now annotation is anything that has to do with text. Anything with text in it is annotation. Pull that down and this first one is your text style. If you're using toolbars, you'll have a text style button on your text toolbar. It looks just like this. So once we're in here, we can see annotative and standard are the two that we've got. I had already mentioned that nowadays they come set with a default of Arial font. Some fonts let you choose if you want it to be bold or bold italic, italic, regular. It just, the standard font uses just Arial and the regular. Let's talk about some of the other things that we have in here. So annotative, we're actually, that's a little bit more advanced than we're going to learn in this class. So we'll just leave that unchecked. But if you notice the default one up here, annotative has the symbol next to it, the little blue symbol looks like the end of a scale and the only difference between standard and annotative is it has the word annotative checked. We'll just skip over annotative because that is definitely more advanced. Now this right here definitely confuses people. This is a preset text height. We always keep this set to zero. Keeping it at zero allows you to enter your own text height as you enter that text. If you were to type in a text type here, let's say 0.15, as you start entering text into AutoCAD, you cannot change the text. It is locked into being 0.15. So if you had some certain text that needed to be 0.25, you are out of luck. It is going to lock it in. You cannot change. It will not ask you for any options to set your text height. It predefines it at that. So what we always do is keep this at zero. This is a very tricky one because usually when you're ready to do text, you know what your text height is going to be and people tend to type in a text height here, but it is very important. Always, always, always keep this at zero to keep it neutral. Other things that you can do with text, you could put it upside down. You could make it backwards. You can do a width factor. I'll go ahead and uncheck these. We really don't uh, do this very often. A width factor is almost like how, how wide the actual letters are. So I've got a width factor of one. That's just your default. But if I made it two, look how wide my letters got. We'll just leave that at one for the default. An oblique angle is kind of like a custom italics. So if you wanted a 15 degree angle, you could do a 45 degree angle. If there's some reason that you needed a custom angle and just regular italics would not work there for you, you could, you could set your oblique angle here. We typically, basically, if you just want to keep it this way, all of these options down here, size and effects, we, we usually don't, don't touch those at all. There will literally be no need in our class to make any change to any, any of the size or effect options. So 
what I'm going to do is create a new text style. I've got standard here. I've got annotative. I could always pull this down and change the font. A lot of the projects that you'll find, you're going to be asked to open a drawing to start with. And the text, standard text, we've changed it to one called txt.shx. And part of the instructions tell you to go set the font to Arial. And that's just so you get used to knowing how to go to your text style and learning how to set your font. I'm going to create a new one and let's give it a name and we will call this ooh, I'm in caps bold italic I'll say okay it adds it over here by default it went to Arial I'm just gonna leave it at Arial and I'll pull this down and I'll set it to be bold italic I'll apply that. When you say apply, it just saves those changes. So I now have bold italic and it knows what the settings are for that particular text style. If I click on it and say set current, when I come back to my drawing, this will be the current text style. So I'll click set current and close. And notice if I come up here to my annotate, I can see that bold italic is now the current text style. So as I do more text, just put a new line of text here. Press enter twice, that was single line text. So now bold italic is the current text style. You can always highlight text that exists in your drawing. And if you highlight it, you can see it'll tell you up here which one it is. So that's bold italic. I'll press escape and now click on this one. It tells me that one is standard. If that one needed to be bold italic, now that I've got it highlighted, I can always go change bold italic here. So that's setting up your text style. Again, you can have as many text styles as you need in your drawing. So you might have one that's standard, one that's bold, one bold italic, or maybe you have an entirely different font that you need. You can just come in here create a new text style, and you'll just have a list of text styles that you can choose from in your drawing.